That damn foreman's not got a head so far up our own. <laughs> I almost cussed there. We don't do that. This is a family network, apparently. Look at this. Look at how much more advanced it looks compared to the original. So, without further ado, this is Hypnagogia Boundless Dreams, a game about a white rabbit that leads you into various dreams. Finally here. We waited for so very long. But we must wait just a little longer. We are needed now more than ever. All we must do is dream. Oh, wait. Oh, it's got X as the uh, jump button now. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a hologram. Hologram bunny. Hello there, restful one. Do not be afraid. Are you lost? Or are you here for a reason? One step at a time, restful one. There's much to be done and much to be seen. Would you like to learn how to play? No, I think I'm pretty good. We learned from uh, enough from the last one. Huh. In a hurry, are you? Very well. Though I advise dreams are not something to be rushed. There will be many people to speak with, many conversations to have. Temper your patience accordingly. Remember this, restful one. Please travel the bridge ahead and enter the gate that opens before you. We're all excited to see what you can do. I 
go into the light. Ah, it's too bright. Oh. I'm not going to disappear for every cutscene, but this is pretty dang cool. Wait, is that us? Seems as though I have a visitor. I forgot the jump is not that button anymore. There we go. You are one big bird. Mm. You seem to have stumbled into quite the little dream. Curious. Very convenient. Welcome to the Nexus for everything that exists, as you currently know it. Which is to say, isn't much right now, unfortunately. You may yet have a role to play in these events. Things are not as they normally are, you see. But forgive me, where are my manners? I am called Hypno. I am the guardian of this place. I'm sure you have many questions, or none at all, perhaps. What's going on? The precious dream crystal has shattered, unexpectedly even. Its fragments spread throughout consciousness. Without it, much is left unstable and broken. Yes, the dream crystal. Think of it as the living, beating heart of everything you've ever imagined and have yet to imagine. It's also the thing floating above us. Oh. As a whole entity, it keeps in check the flow of all consciousness and subconsciousness as information. Broken, however, these things are left to form how they please. Remnants? Yes, with your help, we can return the pieces of the dark crisp dream crystal. Ha! <laughs> Surely that wasn't a Freudian slip. We can return the pieces of the dream crystal to the Nexus and restore much needed balance to this world. Travel through the portals to each dream and find the shattered remains of the crystal. That is the part you play. That is the role. We're in the dream nexus, of course. The origin of which is not important. But to you, it acts as a means to an end. It's a temporary space used for passing through from one world to the next. A metaphorical series of interconnecting tubes and tunnels. Yes, yes, of course. One would not want to linger for too long. You have many places to go, many people to see. And certain things to retrieve. One last thing. Though you may only be required to enter specific dreams, there are some that are, let's say, hidden in the dark corners. In other words, Try not to let your taste for exploration wane too much. Now go. We're all watching. Uh, okay. Oh, fancy. It's Goji. Ah, crap. Oh dear. Oh, it's Goji! Help a friend. Goji, come back! Goji, you are looking a little worse for wear. <laughs> Hi there. So good to see you again. You don't remember me? I'm your old pal, Goji. 
talk about long time no see. Anyways, looks like we both ended up in some dark, nasty scum cave. These crystals sure are pretty though. But I think I saw an even shinier one somewhere up ahead. We should go and check it out. It sure would be a nice little memento to take back with us. Well, have fun! That wasn't Goji. I'm almost positive that wasn't Goji. <laughs> Hmm? Who might you be? New worker, perhaps? <laughs> Guess Foreman Friend's gotten a hold of another poor sap. Oh, you shouldn't just be standing around talking. We'll both get the boot. Or worse. Voice. There we go. <laughs> Docked pay. If you need something to do, go find the Foreman. She's probably skulking about here somewheres. Okay, get back to work. There we go. There's an old pickaxe here. The name Gib is etched into the metal surface. It's probably best you don't take something that doesn't belong to you, so you could leave it there. Yeah, but I want it. Ah. This is very pretty. I take it you're the foreman? Nope, you're not. Hey, hey, no idle chitter chatter during work hours. Get back to work and so help me. Foreman friends put me in charge of watching you lazy bums. And I'm not allying you with an inch. Got enough. I've got lunch in half an hour, so put your backs into it. <laughs> if I see even one of you slacking off. There's a rickety signpost planted in the ground. It has a hastily written message scrawled on it. Danger. Mineshaft cave in ahead. Proceed with caution. High risk of structural collapse. Ah, it'll be fine. I got word that one of our uh, sages went down there and somehow got themselves trapped. Total buffoon. Guess that they shook some of the loose of rocks free and created a cave in too. I'm gonna need an expert chiseler pronto. Dang damn it, where's Gib at? Okay, that looks new. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bug someone else. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're Gib. Yep, lazy Gib. Hmm? Someone there? <sighs> alright, alright, I'm up. What you want? Jeez, you here to boss me back to work or something? This guy can't even get a little micro nap for crying out loud. What's even the big deal? I'd say on a g any given day I do about 15 minutes of real actual work. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just that I don't really care. You know, it's whatever. Judge me how you want. That damn foreman's not got ahead so far up I almost cussed there. We don't do that. This is a family network, apparently. <laughs> that damn foreman's head. <laughs> Wait, we said the D word. No. <laughs> All right, let's go. That damn foreman's had a head so far up her but ever since that relic appeared. She doesn't even care about how the crystal hall. She doesn't even care about the crystal halls anymore. If you want to go and talk to her, she's on the ridge up ahead. But I hope she's in a good mood, pal. You still hanging around here? Dang! I thought people said I was the lazy one. What are you waiting for? Get up and talk to her. Okay. Ah, crap. Hmm? Hey! You! Yeah, you! You look like the laziest bum I ever laid eyes on. You must have just dropped hot off the hopeless worker assembly line. 
I'm gonna cut the chase and skip the formalities. So square up, you little runt, because I got an important job for you. See that fancy floating platform over there? That magnificent looking shard sitting at the top of it? Well, it's mine. Because I was the first to see it. It's claimed, and I locked it tight under my ownership as of now. As for you, I'm in a decent mood, so I'll let you take a guess at what I'm going to have you do about it. Bingo Bango! There's a catch, though. The only way across is some good old-fashioned cave magic. But my unreliable cave sage Bernard is nowhere to be found. Probably off snoozing somewhere in the deep mine as usual. Go and find him. Tell him to get his butt over here so we can create some kind of bridge to get the relic. We'll get to it then. Move it! Okay. Well, we've already talked to all three of those, and that one. What are you still doing here? Get out there and find that cave sage! Do you expect a handout from me or something? Maybe one of the lazy workers knows something. Ah, good point. Lazy worker, like... She told you to go do what now? Ah, typical foreman, Fran. Always delegating the most pointless of tasks to her underlings. Look, man, life's too short to be running around licking boots all the time, but hey, you do you. As for me, I got too much self-respect to be down here any longer. So I'm giving up the mining career for good. If you're adamant about unrolling with the foreman's punches, feel free to take my pickaxe. I left it somewhere around here. Have a good time, sucker. All right, bye. There we go. It's got you right here. This must be Gibbs' pickaxe, but you guess he won't be needing it anymore. Despite the boulder's sturdy grip, you managed to dislodge it and take it with you. You hope this rusty thing can hold together. from. Looks a lot like Gibbs. Well, he was supposed to dig this rubble up, but I guess you'll do. Alright then, go ahead and give it a pile, get that pile of rocks over there a good whack. I hope they break loose. I'll just be back here. You got it. Hoisting the heavy pickaxe over your shoulder, you bring yourself into a steady swinging stance. Things heavier than it looks. And a big swing. The rock wall never stood a chance, but to no surprise, neither did your rusty pickaxe. Great. Oh well, you should at least be able to ride the service cart down into the shaft now. It's true, I should. But there's rocks. Do, do I hop in? Oh ho! Take a ride? Eh, looks fun! The old rickety wheels of the minecart begin to roll. Hold on to something! Whoa. Oh my god! Wow. Oh, we jumped. <laughs> we jumped some flames. Get, get out of here. Get. There we go. This must be the sage. Well, hello there. Don't these crystals radiate with the most hypnotic glow? I find myself just staring at them sometimes. So what brings you down here? You come all this way to avoid that crazed lunatic of a foreman too? Uh, foreman Fran needs to go back Needs me to go back up top, doesn't she? Guessing it's for the tantalizing shard of something or other? I can guarantee handing that over to the foreman will only spell disaster. They don't call me a sage for nothing. 
That shard is trouble. But I'm an old man and very tired nowadays. I have no desire to continue helping that lumbering maniac unless... Unless you grab the shard before her. Of course. Take it with you. Escape this damp, dusty, disgusting cavern and never return. Sound like a deal? I want Fran to learn a bit of a lesson here. She can't just claim everything she lays her eyes on. I've been around a while, and if there's one thing I've picked up on... Pick... Pick up on? <laughs> it's that you have to earn things. Put the hard work in. Fran acting so entitled to everything around her gives the headache of a lifetime, so this'll be a nice change of pace. Anyways, I think it's settled. I'll see you back there, then. Do mind the hot stuff behind me on your way back, will you? Wait, you can't just... You can't just teleport me? Well, I'm assuming I can't go in there. So... Oh, crap! Well, something just fell apart. What was that? Whoa, they're all up here. The sage appears to be concentrating. Psst, I can't believe I dragged myself up here for this. The woes of such a niche career. Okay, once the bridge appears, you can hop over there and s grab the shard. What you do with it is up to you, but for now, just handing it over to the foreman is quite the rotten idea. Maybe I'll finally settle down and retire after all those weird shenanigans. My whole bones need well-deserved rest. Get on with it! The bridge magic! Bernard, I don't have all day! That a him, yes! Oh, magic platforms materialize before me now. Alakazam! <laughs> nice. Goodbye, old man. Hey, that's my artifact. Stop them now. I see you've collected the first shard of many. Good. Very good. You seem to have some familiarity with what you're doing. Although it's apparent to me you've not yet given much thought to your surroundings. Just existing in them like so many others. Tell me, while the subject is at the forefront, what do you think about other people? Uh, I think other people are kind. <laughs> kind, is it? Such a simple word to describe such a simple species. Whether or not it's true. Some would say it's naive to feel such a way. Those creatures tend to display their animosity more than their kindness. In your case, you are indeed proving the latter by helping to reclaim these shards. Too soon to judge, perhaps? Enough talk. Keep your wits about you. I'll be watching. <laughs> 